Brett coming to you with a promise and a prayer. It is so hot. I mean, it's 122 degrees outside. I was thinking to myself, you know, when I was a child, was it this hot? I don't remember it being so hot. Maybe if, when you're a kid, you think differently, but, but as, I, as I remember that, I, I, was it this hot for this long? I mean, it's hot through, all the way through October. And I remember this year using my air in January. It was like 80 some degrees during, in January. And, I'm turning my air on in January and I, and I can't help but think, you know, is the climate changing? Is there some truth to that? And there's this debate, is it man-made? Is it, uh, you know, what's, how is it happening? You know, I, I think it's simple. I think it's just the earth is still recovering from the flood, but is it really happening? And I know there's a lot of fear that, you know, is it just gonna continually get to get hotter? Is it gonna continue to, the temperatures every year are gonna rise and, and lakes aren't as full as they used to be. I mean, what's gonna happen? Should I go out and purchase some property closer to the North Pole? Is everyone gonna be flocking up that direction? You know, what do we do here? Is, is, you know, what's the future hold? What does the future hold regarding climate change? And then I come to this beautiful promise in Genesis chapter eight, verse 22. It says, as long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, will never cease. There will always be seed time and harvest. There will always be cold and heat. There will always be summer and winter. There will always be day and night. We have no reason to fear because we have the answer to it right here. Don't be afraid. It's not gonna always be summer. We will see winter again. So be blessed. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word that we can stand on, Lord. It has all the truths that we need to know. And we thank you that, that we can reach into your word, open it up, and find what we need to hear. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. For full-length sermons and new content daily, you know where to go. bcachurch.com or subscribe to the YouTube channel.